What's up guys, welcome back to another video with me, Supercharged7, and today my friends, I will be showing you guys how to complete the new easter egg on Tides of Terror. I will also be showing you guys how to complete the hardcore easter egg, so make sure to stick around for that. Without any further ado, as soon as you spawn into the map, you need to go over to this cannon on Skur Beach, where you'll be able to interact with it. Upon doing this, you will get markers that come up on the screen, and you must now go and locate a fuse, and also a cannonball. The cannonball can be found inside of the East Shipwreck Lower Deck. As for the fuse, you can find this at the bottom of the west shipwreck inside of the cargo hold. Once you've obtained both of these parts, head back to Skirt Beach. Once again, interact with the cannon. Now a circle is going to spawn, so you need to make sure that you're standing in the circle whilst killing zombies. Once you've got the max amount of zombies, you're now going to be able to interact with the cannon again. This time, it's going to shoot at the cave and it's going to open it up. Now enter the cave. Upon doing so, you will find that there are these hives, similar to the ones in sewers. In order to progress through the cave, you must shoot these hives. Upon doing so, you will notice that the vines will disappear, allowing you to access the rest of the area. Eventually, you will come up to a door where you'll be able to interact with it. Once you interact with this door, it will now give you three different quests. Your job now is to complete the quest and gain access to each of the swords. A bronze sword, a silver sword, and a gold sword. It's also good to note that you can do these in any order. For the purpose of of this video we're going to be starting with the silver sword although I do suggest starting with bronze if you guys know what you're doing as upon starting that quest you will be able to break the bonds that currently stop you from being able to look at the treasure map which will allow you to progress to get the death machine I will timestamp each of these quests so if you guys want to use the chapter section you can choose which one you want the guide for without any further ado let's start with the quests that I did for this video and we're going to start with the silver sword so go up to the cell door located next to the entrance to the cave upon interacting with this door you will know Notice that now there is gas filling up the cave. Your job is to destroy the red targets. Upon doing this, the ventilation will begin to start. There are a total of four different targets, so make sure that you're shooting these and getting them taken out as soon as possible because this gas can kill you. I do not recommend trying to keep a zombie around this point because you will just get constant round flips. This is due to the next stage where you need to locate a key. In the same area, you're going to see four additional cells. Each of these cells have vines, which are stopping you from being able to get in there to locate the bone key and similar to how you were able to gain more access from destroying the hives you must now locate more of these and some of them will be very obvious that they are connected to a particular cell so destroy the hives and then gain access you can get this first time but sometimes it can be a bit iffy even if you get crabs that spawn or the round flips just keep destroying these hives and gaining access until you find a key once you successfully break the hives and find the correct cell with the key in it you must now go back to the original cell that gave you the quest. You can now go inside and interact with this pedestal where you'll be able to pick up the silver sword. For your next quest, we're going to be going after the golden sword. To start this quest, go to the main deck on the east ship. Once there, you will see that there is a pedestal with a sword in it. You must now interact with this pedestal and you'll be given your quest for the golden sword. On the main deck, you now need to shoot four different coils. You must shoot them in the order that you see that I am shooting them. Once you've successfully done this and restored power to these coils, you are onto your next step. Up and down on the east side ship, you will find that there are power boxes similar to what we had in House of the Damned. Once again, we have a total of six different breakers. If you look at the pedestal, you will be given a code. It is this code that you're going to decipher which of these breakers you need to interact with and in which order. For example, in my game, my code was 534, which meant I had to go to the breaker that was number five, then the breaker number three, and then the breaker number four. And for anybody who is new to this who doesn't understand this step just for you i'm going to explain each of the breakers has a light bulb next to it the light bulb has a number this is the number that it represents so for me like i said i went to the breaker for five then three and then four once this is done successfully you can now go back to the top of the east main deck Around this pedestal, you're now going to see a circle. And once again, you're going to need to be standing in the circle whilst getting kills. And once you successfully get all the kills required, you can now again interact with this pedestal and you will be picking up the golden sword. For our next set of steps, we need to go to the bottom of the ship on the western side. Inside of this cave, you will find that there is a cell. You must now interact with this door and it will give you your next step. All up and down the western side of the ship, you will see these little red boxes. You 
can melee these, you can shoot them, and once you do, they will damage and they will break. Inside of these boxes is what you want. Some of these boxes are dud and don't contain what you want, but what you're looking for is cranks. You're going to need a total of three different cranks, so make sure that you just go around, break each of these boxes, and collect each of the cranks. It's probably just best to get these as soon as possible. Once you have gathered all of the cranks, go to the top of the western ship on the main deck. On the main deck, you will see that there is a prompt where you can place the crank. And this is honestly one of my favourite animations, by the way. But once you place the crank, you will see that a siphon will move into position and there will be a circle around your player. Once again, you must now get kills while standing in this circle. Once you have successfully done this, you will now be able to place another crank down. You will be able to see that the siphon will once again move position. Again, get kills inside of the circle and it's rinse and repeat. Once you successfully get all of the kills for the second and siphon you now need to use your third crank to do this go up these set of stairs and you will also see that there is like a red box here so that's an honorable mention and next to this cage that contains this crab you'll be able to place another crank once again the siphon will move and you must now get kills in the circle once you have gotten all of the kills and done all three different cranks and siphons the final step for the bronze sword is to escort this crab down to the cell it's important to mention that he will not move if you are not near him so you need to make sure you're standing near once you take the crab down to the cell door he will now stand on the pressure plate which will open the door allowing you to go inside and obtain the bronze sword now that you have successfully gathered each of the swords bronze silver and gold your job is to take them back to the big main door where you're going to be able to place them once you have placed all of these swords into the door you will now be able to interact with it once again this time three different levers around the map require you to activate them. Not only that, you are on the clock meaning that you do have a time limit to activate all of these as fast as possible. Don't worry if you don't manage to get all of them, nothing bad will happen, the timer will just start again and you'll just have to keep trying to get to them in time. I recommend using Stallion's Juice if you don't feel like you're quick on your feet, otherwise I think you can do this without having to have a perk. There is a lever inside of the cave, there is also a lever inside of the eastern ship on the middle level and there is also a lever inside of the western ship. And once you have successfully activated all of these levers, you can now go back to the door once again. Once you arrive at the door, you will now be able to pick up the golden cannonball. Your job is now to shoot this cannonball. So head up to the bridge which connects the west ship with the east ship. On the ledge, you will see that there is a cannon. Go ahead and load this cannon and it is going to shoot out. Once you have fired this cannon, it is going to reveal a code on Skirt Beach. Your job now is to go back down to Skirt Beach and interact with this code. But once you interact with this, the Squid Lord will spawn and your job now is to take him out. Once you have successfully defeated the Squid Lord, you must now go back to the beach where you'll be able to look at the code. When you look down on the floor, you will see different symbols. Each of these symbols are in different colours. I've tried to make this as easy as possible for you guys to understand. From left to right, you can see bronze, silver and gold. That is the colour of each of these symbols. And each of these symbols' colours are connected to a sword in the door. And for the purpose of my video, I have tagged these as A, B and C. This way, it helps everybody be able to understand how this code works. So back inside of the cave, you will see these same symbols on the door where the swords are, and the handle on the sword acts as a pointer. I have also marked the doors as A, B and C and there is only four different types of symbols. So do the same thing with your symbols, mark them down as A, B and C and take note of what your symbols look like. Go to the door in your game and look at each of these swords as A, B and C, left to right. And now we're using the handles as an arrow to point towards your symbols, put in your sequence. So for example in my game my bronze sword and its symbol which was A looked like a hook so I went to the door, went to the bronze sword, and so I switched it to the hook looking symbol. Hopefully for any of you guys that are stuck on this, this is actually helping. But once you finally put in your code successfully, you're now going to be on to the boss fight. So I highly suggest that you guys are really careful in here. You can get hit by the tentacles, you can get damaged by the tentacles coming through the ground. You can insta die to the bubbles unless you're using invincible as a miracle type and you have that for your ultimate, activate your ultimate and you will survive 
survive the bubble. Anyways, guys, that is how you complete the normal Easter egg. But if you guys are here for the hardcore Easter egg, don't worry, I have you covered. I aim for this to be one of the most easiest and understandable guides on the internet. So if you guys are struggling and you have no idea what you're doing, then you came to the right place. Because my steps are going to be 100% as I didn't rush out my guide. I have played endlessly and played literally hours to make sure that I got this guide as accurate as possible. So first things first, you want to leave the cave. Upon leaving, you will see that there is this green mist, similar to House of the Damned, and you want to interact with this. This is going to begin a hide and seek quest where you must find three different lambs around the map. As of right now, I have a total of five different locations for lambs, and if you guys have found any more, then please make sure to let me know down in the comments down below. There are two lamb locations in Skur Beach, the first one being next to the eastern ship. Another location for a lamb on Skur Beach is on top of this set of rocks. Another lamb location is inside of where you can get the elixir of health sitting on some crates. According to the community, there is a location for the lamb inside of this cell where you can get the bronze sword. During my live stream, we did get a lamb that was somewhere inside of the east ship. There is also a confirmed lamb location which I have in this video and this is located outside of the map and you can shoot this from the west shipwreck. So for your next step, after you've got all three different lambs and you've heard the confirmation sound, you must now head to the captain's office where you're going to be able to see that there are some books on the floor. There has been a lot of confusion surrounding this step. If you look at the books, you will see the old symbols. And by old symbols, I mean symbols that we are used to from previous maps. And your job is to shoot these symbols. Once you successfully hit one of these symbols and cause damage to it, you must now kill three zombies or three crabs. Once you do this, the symbols will disappear. And now you can interact with the compass. According to some people within the community, there are like these little voids out in the water that you can use in order to decipher this compass. But honestly, it's really not that hard to do this. And so instead of telling you how to do this officially, I'm going to be telling you guys how to do this in good old Call of the Dead fashion. As you can see on the compass, there are interaction buttons or prompts. What I want you to do is literally interact with these prompts and just move it around until the prompts slowly start to disappear. Once the prompts successfully all disappear, you have completed this step. And honestly, not once have I ever done this and I've done this three times. Have I actually done it by looking at any voids in the water? I have literally just made it go from north to west to south to east and it just disappears. And I don't think that they're going to patch this and if they do, it's going to be mad because it will probably damage this tutorial. But this honestly is the most easiest way to tell you to do this as of right now. And once these prompts are gone, you cannot interact with this compass, meaning you're on to the next step. So once you've done this, go back down to Skirt Beach where you will see a blue orb. Interact with this orb and it is now going to spawn in a whole bunch of abominations along with the Squid Lord. Your job is now to take out all of these bosses and then you'll be on to the next step. Now that you've done this, go back up to the east ship's main deck and on this mast or this rig and whatever they call it, you'll be able to see that there's a blue orb. This is going to start a sharpshooter challenge, meaning that you're going to have five different symbols that you need to shoot as fast as possible. This is timed and you can fail it, but don't worry if you do fail it, just go back to this particular area and start again. So the first orb is here on the east main deck. The second orb is on Skur Beach, but you can shoot this orb from the main deck. Now path as fast as you can over to the western shipwreck. You can shoot the third orb on the main deck of the western ship. This is another one sat on a mast. For the fourth orb, this one is a little bit tricky because there seems to be a barrier in the way. So if you try and shoot it from where I'm standing currently until this gets patched, try and jump and aim your shots over these ropes. You'll know when you hit it because the orb will disappear and you will get damage indicators. Once you've done this as fast as you can, run down to the bottom of Skur Beach where you're going to have to shoot your final orb. And this one is located next to the Eastern Shipwreck near where you can locate one of the lambs. And once you've successfully done this time trial, you will now be able to go back to Skur Beach and interact with another blue mist. This time around, you're gonna be greeted with more abominations and the previous map's boss. And you will also be going up against a boss bard version of the Squid Lord. So take these guys out and then you're on to your final step of the hardcore Easter egg. Once you've successfully taken out these bosses, you now need to escort a crab from one side of the map to another. And this guy likes to take 
take it slow and he definitely likes to take detours and he likes to invite his friends around for the crab rave so make sure you've got your perks and that you're fully set up and once you get to the end of the escort mission the crab is going to explode upon doing so you are now into the hardcore boss fight congratulations you've now made it to the boss fight but that's the easy bit because this boss fight is about to get hard we got a game where we absolutely cheesed him but i just think this is luck anyways guys a big shout out to all of you that turned out for my live stream when this map came out thank you so much for all of the success and congratulations to cypherside and wedge who were watching my stream at the time and actually successfully completed the easter egg becoming the first in the world to do so anyways guys i've been silver 7 you've been absolutely awesome and thank you so much guys for watching this video hopefully my guides are helping i will get some more guides out soon make sure to smash like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys in my next video